In today's video, I will show you how to draw a portrait on a nail. I will explain how to determine a face composition and give you tips on creating it. If you need to learn how to draw portrait nail art, keep watching. Let's dive into it. First, I explain the composition of the human face. When drawing the eyes, nose, and mouth from a front of you, it is important to maintain the balance between them. By practicing with awareness of these features, you can effectively improve your ability to draw portrait nail art. The three lines to pay attention to are from the chin to just below the nose, from below the nose to above the eyes, and from above the eyes to the forehead. Keeping these lines at equal distances helps to achieve a balanced overall appearance. In addition, when drawing them, there should be a space equivalent to the width of one eye between each eye. This spacing helps to maintain harmony and balance in the facial features. So this picture is the reference that I used for the Geisha girl portrait. It is not precisely the same, but I wanted to add my twist. These are the tips for drawing portrait. One, look closely at your reference. She's not facing straight forwardly, and her face is tilted. You can still mentally draw the three lines on the face to determine the balance of her face. 2. Check the balance of the overall composition. For this case, I look at the balance of her big hair. I positioned her face in the center instead of the top to ensure that it included her big hair on the nail. 3. Use the right tools. To draw precise nail art, you need a precise nail art brush, especially when drawing portraits. This very thin and flexible brush is made in Japan. It has a 4.5mm brush tip, making it one of the tiniest brushes in the industry. You can check it out in the description below. 4. Never give up. Drawing portraits and faces is one of the hardest hand painting techniques. Practice makes perfect. Now let's get it started. These are the products that I'm going to be using. The description box below lists all the products used in this video. I applied two coats of white gel polish and cured each coat. Then I used a non wipe top coat, cured it, and buffed the nail. I then started drawing a face line using a gray colored gel. I mixed the white and black gel. I recommend starting to draw from the face line to compare it. I know it's boring to see at this time of the process, but trust me, it is a fundamental process. I am looking at the reference picture and drawing as I go. This is like a sketch of the outlines and face composition. I will color darker as I draw. Now I'm drawing her eyeballs. Then her eyeliners. Be very careful with this part. So the geisha girl's makeup is unique. Her face is completely white and flat, and her neck is her natural skin tone. Did you know the history of a geisha's iconic makeup goes back to the Heian period when nobility wore white paste in front of the emperor so that their faces would stand out in the candlelight. I wasn't sure about the background color so I applied light red first 
to see if it worked. I was happy with it, so I used a red color. Now it's getting there. I'm adding more makeup on her. I started doing the final touch. I'm adding her hair accessories as well. Now I'm drawing some surly lines for the background. I'm finishing up with gold foils. Cure it for 30 seconds. Finally, apply non-wipe top coat and cure it for 30 seconds. This is the aftermath. It took me about 2 hours to create it, but I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think. If you want to learn more basic gel nail art techniques, I have a link for my online course in the description. And if you are going to check the brush I used, I also have a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I release new videos like this one. And I will see you on the next one.